do it for this What's good? Today we are watching Sinister for the very first time. I know some of you guys are already complaining because I have all these lights on. Relax, when we get into the movie commentary portion of this video, I will turn some of these lights off, all right? And it will be semi-dark. It ain't gonna be all the way dark, but close enough. Remember, I am dark-skinned, so I need these lights so you can see me, all right? Anyway, shout out to everybody that's currently watching this premiere. How you doing? How you looking? How you smelling? I hope you're doing, looking, and smelling amazing. Like I always say, you could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with your boy, and I appreciate you for that. I really do mean it. If you haven't been told this, you matter, and I love you. Also, make sure you're staying hydrated. Drink some water right now, because I know that you haven't done it. Drink water. Look at your lips. Look at them. They're not hydrated. I know. Drink damn water. Anyways, if you're currently in the chat, spam with the chat right now with some hearts. I need to feel the love before we start this, because I can tell that this movie's going to be scary. I ain't seen it, but I could just tell that this movie's gonna be scary. So I need all the positive energy that I can get. I have a Twitch, so you guys be sure to follow me, twitch.tv slash Billy Binges. I might be going live when this video premieres. I don't know, but I do have a Discord. Sometimes I be dropping, you know, some videos that haven't came out yet. Sometimes I do polls over there. I don't know if we have, if we done a movie night yet, but I'm sure at some point we will. So make sure y'all follow the Discord and follow the Twitch so you can see more of your boy. Anyways, enough of the talking for this intro, because we're gonna do hella talking for this video, by the way. Let's get into Sinister. Oh hell no, wait, what's... Is that a family? Hung together? Oh, that's Gangsta. He's... Oh, oh my gosh, that's Gangsta. Oh, shoot. I thought they were already dead. Bravo. We already got four deaths at the beginning of the movie. I love it. I love it. I ain't gonna hold you. The one at the end, I think that's I think that's the grandmama. It took her a while to finally, you know, pass over. It took her a minute. I mean, it didn't take her a minute. She died pretty quickly. That's what I was trying to say. Wait a minute. This dude kind of look like um, Dr. Strange's brother or something. I ain't gonna hold you, he kinda look like a, a, a handsome apple. I don't know. It's just, he just looks like an apple head to me. I don't, I don't know. Okay, so besides today's video being scary, you know what else is scary? Leaving your house without your wallet or I'll do you one better. What about having a big, bulky, oversized wallet? Ooh, the horror. Well, today's sponsor, Exter, has revolutionized the wallet and I will never go back to the bifold. Now, what makes Exter different is it's super slim, sleek, and has a minimalistic design and can hold up to 12 cards plus cash. It has a quick card access where at a click of a button, you can access all of your cards within seconds. Exter wallets are environmentally friendly and they are made with high quality materials like Italian leather, face grade aluminum and carbon fiber it has its own rfid blocking which protects you from wireless theft also extra wallet has a tracker that is solar powered and lets you locate your wallet with your cell phone all it takes is two hours in the sun which equate to three months of a charge me personally i love my extra wallet because it stops me from fumbling when i'm at the cash register because this push of a button all of my cards are easily accessible just like that within a second boom done plus with this design it fits in my front pocket and it's also comfortable when i put it in in my back pocket all right so i think that we understand that this wallet is amazing and i think that you should go purchase it and if you would like to use that link that's in the description and you will get 20 percent off your next purchase once again thank you to extra for sponsoring this video now let's get back into today's commentary an autograph i just thought that are we... you kidding me now, who was it smoky the bear like what what is <laughs> what's the issue sheriff your husband around actually Oh, they want an autograph from her husband. So he writes books or something? What does he do? Let me find out he a YouTuber or something. And so why don't you come outside with me and you can finish your painting later? Because I didn't want to move here. I shouldn't have to carry boxes. Wow. All that attitude? Oh, no. <laughs> she said I didn't want to move here, so I shouldn't have to touch a box. Ma'am. Well, until you pay a bill, you're going to be touching all these damn boxes in here, okay? Little Emily, she ain't here drawing creepy ass pictures. Kill her. Kill her. Something tell me Lil Emily is the sinister possessed thing. I don't know. Because I was going to have to write college textbooks to pay for that old house. I can't do that. Why not? Oh, he can't afford it. So he done ran up all his uh, book money from the last one. So he has to write a whole new one. That's what happens when you mismanage your money. See, this ain't Lil Emily's fault. You know what? Lil Emily might have a point. I still don't like the picture she drawn on the wall, though. I don't like that. Paint only goes in the bedroom. And where doesn't it go? Anywhere else in the house. Right. Oh, well, that's good. He, he lets her... You know, be free um, artistically. I was about to say autistic. Artistically, shoot, low key, I might be a little autistic. I ain't gonna hold you. Shout out to all my autistic folks out there. I appreciate that, Ellison Oswald. 
I know who you are. Man, you ain't gonna shake his hand? Oh, that he wants all the disrespect. You gotta watch that sheriff. He gonna be in there trying to clap the wife. I do have a couple extra copies I can tell people out of my office if you want me to get one out and sign it for you. I'll do that. No, thank you, sir. For real, though, what are you upset about? Like, does he know about your... Did he sleep with your wife? He is upset. Your bad theory have to kill or go free. You ruin people's lives. Oh, that's why he's upset. Well, there's a missing girl involved here. She ain't missing. She's dead. Come on. You don't know that. I'm trying to figure out, why is this Arthur... Uh, 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 I can't talk today. Damn, man. Why is this author acting like he's an investigator? Like, he he's coming here talking about there's a missing girl. Like, you gonna help find it, Scooby-Doo? Or find her? Excuse me? Come on, man. No, we did our job. You'll see that. And this is just another waste of your time, like your last two books. Oh, he's coming for your books. And he called you broke. I find this to be an extremely bad taste. Who cares? Do you have to live in it? Like, mind your business. What the? I didn't ask you. Ellison, we didn't move in a few houses down from a crime scene again, did we? Oh my gosh, he done moved his family into the sinister house? I know he didn't do that. We didn't. Promise? I promise. Oh, he lying like hell. For sure he lying like hell. Uh, Susan, you need to divorce him. For real. Forget it. Take half of whatever he got left. I, clearly it ain't that much because he got to write another book. He out here trying to solve mysteries, so it ain't that much money. But take what you can and go. This fool moved into the damn house that the family at the beginning of the movie just got hung. Oh, it's about to get gangster. I know it is. I know it's about to get gangster. Is little Emily going to be first? I hope she is. I hope. Just because of that creepy little picture she was drawing. I hope she's first. Oh, wow. Okay. I would be on the phone with pest control so fast it wouldn't even be funny. You gotta be kidding me. Family hanging out 11. Did he title him hanging this family hanging out? That's gangster too. Damn, that is good. I love this movie already. I really, y'all done turned me into a horror buff. A horror? Y'all y'all be telling me that the way that I say horror sounds, it, just doesn't, it doesn't sound like I'm saying it. I, blame it on the Invisalign, man. I used to be able to talk before I got it. I can't anymore. Is the story a good one this time? Yeah, it's good. Of course it is. Will you take me and show me where it happened? Trevor. Why does little Trevor have on the same wig that um the big headed boy in Twilight had on? Uh, Jacob. He got on the same wig. I just want to see you enjoying your work again. When you're happy, we're all happy. Oh, I like that. I like that. She said. I, he said I can't be happy if I'm broke. That's what it is. Kentucky blood was 10 years ago. What if that was your 15 minutes? Damn. Oh my goodness. She hit that fool <laughs> where it hurts. I would be like, oh, is, is that how you feel about me? For real? You think my 15 minutes is up? That's tough. If this goes sour like last time, I'll take Trevor and Ashley and go back home to my sisters. Yeah, you better listen to her. She is serious. This is your one and last chance with her. She is fed up. That girl is finally about to start up. I ain't gonna hold you right there. It looked like she already mentally checked out, for real. It seemed like she preparing. Okay, this is just creepy. You got a bunch of dead kids pictures on your wall? That's a little weird. I'm not gonna lie. At this point, if I was to even find a camera that looks like that, I would not want to watch nothing on the tapes. Not even out of curiosity. I really wouldn't. I would feel like there's a spirit or something attached, even just to the camera. Nah, I'd get rid of it real quick. I'm cool. I'm on my business. Wait, is Sinister based on a, a true story? I didn't I didn't see it at the beginning, but I could have missed it. Like, or is this just made up? I hope it's made up. Not gonna lie, this family video escalated very quickly. We went from them throwing a football around to now they being hung. Man, did the dad even put up a fight for his family? Like, he shouldn't even be in that position to be hung. Like, he should be dead, and it should be three bodies there because he fought for his family. Why the hell is he... He seemed like he was in pretty good shape and condition. I don't know. I don't think my boy put up a fight. I don't think so. But I ain't gonna hold you, though. I had to think about it, too. Like, would I let my family go, too? Uh, maybe. You know, I can get another family. <laughs> I could get another family. I could. I'd be like, hey, take her. Take her. Take the kids, too. Take them all. Go ahead. I'm out of here. Man, that better be little Robbie, little Emily. I think he had a third kid. That better be the uh, the third one. Who the hell opened that door? Yeah, see, hell no. Nah. Here we go with that bull. 
It's about to get real now. Daddy. Emily? No, ain't no way. You didn't say a word or nothing. She gonna be standing in the laundry room rubbing her eyes. Oh no, I would've pushed that little big headed girl down for sure. I'm like, ugh! In the name of Jesus. Are you gonna write a really good book this time? So we can go home? I'm gonna write the best book that English ever read. I'm not gonna hold you. That's kind of tough when the whole family knows that your last book flopped. <laughs> and that's why we're here now. Yeah. And then to be reminded, like he's been reminded everywhere he goes that his book flopped. All right, so is this their attempt at trying to humanize them or something for us to feel a little bit more attached to them before they show us them getting hung again? <laughs> oh, hell no. What? What the? F what the hell's happening here? Oh, shoot. Wait. Is this a different family? Is he going? Is he going to blow them up? Man, what the hell is this sound in my ear right now? Like, this sounds like something Timberland would use in one of his beats. Yeah, this sound is super weird. Like, I don't know. Uh, it's super weird. That joker sounded like a goat getting slow stroked. I don't know. I just be saying stuff for real, for real. I, I really, I don't know what that sounds like for the record. I, I really don't. The King County Police, please. Is this an emergency? Uh, yes, yes it is. Are you gonna tell him what the hell the emergency is? What, why did he stop talking? King County Police Department, how may I direct your call? King County Police Department. Man, ain't no way. She got way more patience than me. I'm not gonna hold you. You came back and left the box. Why? So your dumb self can move in and find it and then get your family killed just like all the families you about to watch? That's what's gonna end up happening. Ashley? Oh, hell no. Here go a little, em this better not be a little Emily with a potty break. Don't tell me she got lost to the bathroom a second time. Okay, well, if that's not little Emily, then you got Jeepers Creepers in your house. Okay, so are you gonna check on your wife? Are you gonna check on little Robbie with the Jesus wig? Are you gonna check on him? Oh, hell no! What the <laughs> hell? What the, what the? Hey, 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 wake up, wake up. Hey, hey. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Wake up, wake up, Trevor, wake up for me, all right? That's little Robbie who came out the box like, Trevor, Trevor. No, nah, hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. I didn't even recognize him. I didn't even recognize him. I want to tell you something. Okay. I'm just really sorry. Oh, this is a perfect time for you to tell her that you moved into the house with this nonsense going on. Yeah, she's about to divorce you, player, for sure. The way that this man sacrificed his whole family to sell another trash book. Goodness gracious. So, Ashley, you excited about your first day at the new school? Mm -hmm. What about you? Oh, see, see, little Emily actually did have a scary dream, but now she ain't gonna tell us because he just downplayed it. All right, so I finally caught on that these are all different families, y'all. Can I get a thumbs up for that? I caught on. It took me a second. I was just like, there's no way that he's killing the same family five times, right? It's no way. Oh, by the way, make sure y'all drinking water. It's been a while since I said that, so drink water. Oh, he's about to, he attached them to the chairs and he's gonna pull them in the water? That's gangsta. Damn, that's gangsta. Wow, how do you come up with these things? You gotta be really like sick in the head to be able, like my mind would have never thought of this stuff. Wow, that is gangsta. <laughs> Bro, what the hell is my ex doing at the bottom of the pool? No, I'm just playing, that was a joke. It was a little jokey joke. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not gonna lie though, that mask is super freaky. Wow, I'm surprised I don't see that mask like during Halloween time, because that's, it's actually pretty scary. That's your problem. You don't think. You want to be treated like an adult, but you don't act like one. Wow. Who the hell is little Robbie talking to like that? Oh no. Mm -mm. Mom's overreacting. Your son is acting out again. What? He, he talking like that to his mama? No way, no way. <laughs> No way. I would have lit little Robbie up. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm not gonna hold you. Hey, no way. You ain't gonna talk to your mama like that. You for sure ain't gonna talk to me like that. That ain't going down. No, sir. Drew a tree with four people hanging from it. He drew a what? Hell no. Get rid of little Robbie. <laughs> I'm, now I'm talking literally light his ass up. Light him up. Put him on fire. 
Get rid of them. Bad things happen to good people, and they still need to have their story told. They deserve that much. You're a real man of the people. Huh. <laughs> well, he ain't your man, I can tell you that. Call my phone, you know what I'm saying? Call me so I can make it juicy for you. <laughs> What's up? I'm just saying. Your best can't do it. I got you. You ain't got to worry about nothing spooky over here. Nothing at all. I mean, from time to time, my comment section look a little scary, but that's all right. Comes with the territory. 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 Territory? Whatever. I'm not gonna lie, this movie's kind of like the Blair Witch Project. Like, like a, just like a tiny bit. Is something gonna actually happen to the families or he's, is, he, is he just gonna keep watching the other families get murdered? Like something has to happen to his, right? Oh damn, they left the little Taco Bell dog by itself? They didn't tie the dog up? If we gonna murk the whole family, we, gotta, we might as well murk the dog too. I just pissed a lot of dog owners off with that one. I, I know it. I know. It is what it is, man. Kill them all. Bro sitting there taking this shot to the head. Like, this is your profession. You chose to do this. Don't try to drink yourself into oblivion now. Bro, what are you saying? Because I don't see it. All I seen was four kids, Lewis. That sound like a brand at Navy, Old Navy. Hold on, time out. There's a son that's still missing and there's a little girl that's missing too. Are they gonna, is it the kids who are doing this? Wait a minute. 13 year old son of William and Penny Miller. It's no way that the little children, they're the ones catching these bodies. They put a whole new meaning to, what about the children? What about the children? A whole new meaning to that. It's no way, right? It's no way. All right, here we go with this little chicken foot. Y'all heard him. Whoever that is, you heard him running. Now, if it's little Robbie again, y'all gonna have to y'all gonna have to get him checked in somewhere. What if little Robbie is a part of this? It, it must be the it must be the children. It must be, cause they're the only ones that's coming up missing. I'm not gonna lie, that almost made me jump. Almost, but it's just the sound. Man, it's always something in that damn attic. Wait, what happened to the rest of his family, though? Do they not hear him moving around the house? Uh, like, that would wake me up for sure. Bro, I don't know why, but as soon as he opened his attic, it got, like, eerily cold in here. And super silent. Man, look. I I don't want to have to catch a body on camera. <laughs> now, I don't know what the hell. That was, that was literally weird. As soon as he opened it up, it was just like, oh, that was kind of weird. Boy, okay. I think I'm building my tolerance up a little bit because I'm not jumping like I used to. Bro, you mean to tell me that you don't have no other light in this attic right now? Oh, you're an easy target, without a doubt. Bro, if his son come out of that little box, he better not. What the? It was a snake under there? Oh, you're done. You're done. It didn't bite him? What the? Huh? It's just there to intimidate him? Bruh, this movie is taking too long. Can we get some more deaths in? Like, we already had, I mean, I, I know I've seen these, like, at least three families die, but come on, give me some more. That, that drawing is so gangster. Oh my. Mr. Boogie is everywhere. Sleepy time. Wait a minute. These are these are children drawings. And his little little Emily, she's a painter and she draws. Is Emily, is she the one that's drawing all this? <laughs> he done fell through the roof. I don't even. What? Where the hell is his family at? Like, for, nobody heard this man falling through the roof? Down to the hospital to have this checked out. I think he should get stitches. Let's, uh, let's go see this hole. Why? What can you do? Are you gonna patch it? Like... I did see a small snake, though. Snakes don't have feet. <laughs> Yo, he playing. He is playing. <laughs> I did kill a scorpion when we first moved in here, though, so maybe I should get an exterminator. You definitely should have been did that the moment you saw the scorpion, actually. There's anything else I can do for you? Actually, there is. This dude's face, he, for whatever reason, he just got like a yeah buddy face. Like just, yeah, yeah buddy, yeah buddy. Mm -hmm. 
This is like one of them FBI profilers office. Oh, that's why he was acting like that. He was he was trying to stay humble, but he's a fan. Gotcha. I could be like, you know, your deputy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This man is trying to be your professional butt kisser. That's what I heard. He want to be a sidekick so bad. I'd be like, bro, get off my nuts. Damn, you are an officer. You got some, you got way more important things to do. I just want you here with me, that's all. How ironic is that? Because I don't ever see her there with you until something happens. What? Like, is your family ever there with you? It's weird. Like, they just seem like background characters to me. Why spend so much time investigating such grisly content? Fame and money? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Nah, he hella telling the truth, for sure. That was not a lie. I'd rather cut my hands off than write a book for fame or money. Wow. Mm. And now look what he's doing. Writing a book for fame and money. So get the cutting that get the get the cutting that hand off, player. You a liar and you poor. You're broke. You see what money will do? Make you give up your integrity. Your integrity. Mm-hmm. With the Miller family murders happened. Holy shit. Oh shoot! Boy, I thought I was tripping. I had to. You, you see the way I had to zoom into the screen? Like, is that fool moving? Oh, hell no. Nah. He got them little chicken claws on his. What the? Are those a bunch of baby hands? Wait a minute. I right, see. This is the type of movie where the little children, they're the killers. For sure. Without a doubt. Like. First of all, I would not be falling asleep cuddling. So right off rip, I don't even buy this. Like my guy wasn't asleep. Cause I'm not, no. You're not finna give me a dead arm. All the blood done rest to my hands. No, I'm cool. Man, how funny would it have been if his daughter was sitting there eating popcorn? She's like, hey, what's going on, daddy? I ain't no hey, what's going on? <laughs> Woo hoo hoo. Boy. Okay. All right now. That one, that one got me. That one for sure got me. Drink water. <laughs> what the? Is that little Robbie again? Nah, go ahead and leave little Tarzan right outside. Go ahead. Go and leave your little crazy ass right outside. Put a lock in his door. It's way worse than it was. I left something outside. You left something outside? What, your mind? Common sense? Like what, you? I know you didn't go outside for a damn flashlight. I know you didn't do that. Ain't no way, boy. See, this is what you get. Now you about to get attacked by a wolf. I just want to get my bat. So if you- Wow. Those are all the children that are missing. And then he left the bat anyways. You really went outside for a $2 flashlight. I, for real, that flashlight must be something else. Must be a flashlight, cause, bruh, I know you got other lights. I'm just worried about you. Well, don't be. Girl, at this point, you need to worry about yourself and your son, cause he trying to get y'all murked, for real. But if you want me to run interference for you, I gotta be in the loop. Do you see the way that this man is standing? He is in the full on, I came here to talk business, mister. Like, for real, he wanna help, badly. Real bad. By drugging them, the killer removes his need to overpower them. Oh, so that's how he's getting them to do this, because they're drugged. I was wondering why the dad wasn't putting up a good fight. That makes more sense. This symbol appears in several of the crime scenes. That looks like something from out of the occult. Out of the occult? So is it... So he got a bunch of little children. That's what he got. He, he got... Mr. Boogie got the kids catching the bodies. That's what I assumed. Mm-hmm. I was correct. I ain't gonna hold you. They should probably hire your boy to solve some mysteries, you know? I'm, I'm getting pretty good at this. I am. I really, I'm confident in the fact that it's the little children. So little Emily and little Robbie, they're next. For sure they're next. They have to be. Okay, what's my boy about to do with this lawnmower though? I don't understand. Oh wait, is that a lawnmower or is that a remote control? Uh, that might be a remote control car. I don't know. <laughs> Yo, it literally just so happens that I looked away for a second, and when I came back, he was jumping. It didn't get me. Literally, in that second, I looked away for a quick second. Didn't get me. It's a symbol uh, associated with the worship of a pagan deity. It's named Bagul, the eater of children. The eater of children? I don't think he's eating them. He better not be eating them damn children. 
What? He lures and traps them in his own netherworld and he consumes their souls. Okay, here we go with these multiverses again. Oh my freaking goodness. So he traps them in the netherworld? Interesting. Shown up, none of the crimes have- This man done stressed himself out so much, he in here smoking a cigarette. We ain't seen him smoke this whole time. Now he gotta smoke one. Bro really think he about to do something with this damn bat. Didn't they just tell you that the they he drugs you? So you ain't gonna have the strength of the Black Panthers to even swing the thing. Like, bro, put the bat down. He done lost everywhere he went. He lost in the attic. He lost in the driveway with the sheriffs. Bro, you're not a winner at all. Honestly, your wife, I don't even know why she chose you, to be honest with you, because you're not a winner. You had one win, fell off ever since. That's crazy. Hate to see it. Could never be me. Okay. Hell no. Mm -mm. Almost got me. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Almost got me. Hold on. Let me make sure this little funny looking girl ain't behind me. So he can't see them because they're in the netherworld, basically. It's like some insidious stuff. Let me guess, there's gonna be a kid. Of course. And they always have to have on a yellow raincoat. Like why? Does that make them more scary or something? Y'all, y'all done had me watch so many scary movies that I'm starting to become real numb to this. <laughs> like I am. I'm not jumping as much anymore. Like I'm expecting certain things to happen now. Like I think it's good to say that I'm a horror buff. A whore? Anyway, shout out to you whores. Hit that thumbs up button, by the way, because I know that y'all haven't done it. So stop what the hell you doing and hit that thumbs up button right now. I need all of the algorithm love. I do. Drop a comment also. I just don't understand. Like, there, there's so much noise in this house and this family stays asleep through all of it. Every single time. I, I, I still can't get that part. Hell no, look at little Emily. Oh, I mean, shoot. That was gangster. Wow. And Emily, her eyes were wide open. This fool taking a break like he did something. You didn't do nothing. And you still holding on to this bat. Wow. Like, faithfully. He got he got way more faith in this bat than he does his, his riding skills, for sure. Man, if you don't get your quit playing games with my heart looking at, for real, he's slow creeping into his office. Bro, if there was somebody in there, they would have been got you. Because you were super vulnerable. I also think that every time that I come to your house, there's a whiskey bottle in your office. Oh, not the, I'm not saying that, that you have a drinking problem, right? No, he definitely does. Call him out on it. You've seen it for yourself. And then on top of that, he didn't even tell his wife that they moved into the house of where the murders happened. Like literally living in it right now. I guess if I thought something was in my home at night, I'd be a little bit freaked out too. Okay, is this conversation like a hallucination or something? Cause the song that they're playing in the background while they're talking, it just seems weird. I don't know, like a setup or something. Allison? Allison? Oh, hell no, nah. here we go. Oh boy. Here go Lil Emily. I want to paint her picture, but she didn't want it in my room because that used to be her brother's room. Yeah, hell no. Nah. The moment she starts talking about some other kid that don't live in this house. Who the hell is Stephanie? Get her out of here. Kill little Emily now. Get her out of here. She gots to go. Oh, she go to your room and shut the door. It doesn't matter if she shut the door. She's going to be able to hear y'all yelling at each other. <laughs> like, doesn't matter. What the hell are you thinking? Did you think I wouldn't find out? You never wanted to know. You would never, you never made. That man tried to hit her with the Uno reverse. He said, don't blame me. You said you didn't want to know. So I'm just respecting your wishes. Wow. You're saying it didn't happen here? No. It didn't happen in the backyard. Whoa, this man is wild. Woo. The lies, the lies. My God, what on earth possessed you to move here? never been this broke before. What I tell y'all, he is poor. I knew it. I knew it. Bro is going through the struggle and he got to put his family through it. You should have kept it a stack with him, man. Our daughter just painted a little dead girl on our wall. She's missing. Technically, she's missing. She ain't missing. She she just talked to your daughter. She's here. I guess this is all worth it to you. Putting your family at risk. R risk of what? Of more painting? Oh, he got jokes. He got jokes. <laughs> he said what? More paintings? Your son is crawling out of boxes, bro. What the? What the hell is wrong with him? <laughs> wow, that's gangster. That response 
sent me through the roof. That's it. That's what it. else oh, do yeah. you want from me? How about a home where we feel- Oh, he got the same energy as Tyrese. What more do you want from me? I see. There are plenty of other ways you can provide- Teaching? Uh, editing journalism textbooks? Bro literally just named two other jobs that he could have done instead of moving his family into a house where the other family that lived in it got murdered. You named a couple other things. You could have got your CDL, plumbing, electrician, and you could have picked up a trade. Like, bro, there's plenty of things you could have did for sure. And your legacy? That's Ashley and Trevor. He don't care about his legacy. He don't care about Lil Ravi or Lil Emily. Not at all. But to be honest with you, I don't blame him. Keep it a stack. I, I wouldn't even blame him if he don't care about his wife. Keep it a stack. He said, I'm a man on my purpose. Y'all see how I just flipped it? Like, I was, I was on the wife's side, and then I immediately went to the husband's side. That should let you know that I don't have no damn dog in this fight and I don't care. I do not care. I will change sides on your ad real quick. I sure will. Soon as every time you think I'm gonna go over here, I'll be right over here. Like me, is she gonna look like her? That dude fell asleep with the drink in his hand. Wow. I bet you I can dance the whole song and don't spill it. I bet you I can dance the whole song and don't spill it. That's what he said. <laughs> so you're not gonna make Wow, they told him to be quiet. You ain't gonna say nothing? Oh, that thing is, oh, sh I mean, Taki mushrooms. I, I be trying not to cuss. I be trying not to. Bro, if you don't get your goofy at, run, boy, stand up. Stand up. What, why are you still on the ground? Damn, that was a really good shot though. That that was that was a really good shot. You really think that you're gonna be able to get rid of these tapes? Like, bro probably has helicopters by this point. What the hell are you doing? We have to leave here. Oh, now we gotta leave here, huh? Come on. She should have left you a long time ago, bro. We have to leave. Go! Wow. Now you wanna yell at her instead of telling her what's going on? He ain't right. He is not right for that. And bro has been wearing the same sweater this whole time. Does he not have no other? I don't understand. What about our stuff? Hell, we're gonna call them. That fool said to hell with our stuff. <laughs> That's exactly how I would do the move too. To hell, there, it's just stuff. We can buy new stuff. I don't care. Oh, don't tell me it's gonna be that one sheriff that he got a that got a problem with him. It's gonna be him, huh? Leave town and never look back. He ain't even gonna write you a ticket. He gonna be like, all right, go ahead. Yep, you and your little creepy ass family, gonna get up out of here. I don't wanna be reading in your book that angry town folks chased you out of here. Bro, who cares? He's giving you what you want. Why are you worried about what he gonna write in his book? It's gonna flop anyways. Clearly he ain't that much of a success. Damn, first of all, they, they was living in that house? That house is big. My boy used to have money, money. Wow, how he gonna pay for it now? Hey, Al, 10 bucks that's trying to sleep through the night. No, I'm not taking that bet. He ain't even got 10 bucks. I wanna know how y'all gonna pay for the mortgage. Y'all literally live in a mini White House. That house is so huge. Well, what am I looking at? You're looking at an engraving, an old sketch from the Dark Ages. Oh, wow, he done seen the scorpion and the snake. Oh, boy. Early Christians believed that Bagula actually lived in the images themselves and that they were gateways into his realm. Oh, that's why that fool was moving in the picture. Well, it's too late now. Your children already saw these pictures and Little Emily is talking to the uh, little Jessica. We know that, so it's a done data. And deputy so-and-so is trying to tell you. See, you ain't picking up the phone. It's over. It's over. They gonna be getting hung at the end of this movie, for sure. We're close. We're like, what, five minutes left? Aw, uh, here we go with the whole move. I told you. You can't get rid of him. Here we go with that bull again. Mm-mm-mm. Man, I know the boogeyman did not give this fool the extended cut. For real? I'm not gonna hold you. If I had to piece together a film like that just to watch it, you could forget about it. <laughs> I promise you that'll be something I will never see. Mm-hmm, what's the problem? Okay, the problem is that you moved. I was compiling all of the data that you've had me collecting. Oh, do they get owned once they move? You just moved out of the last house in line. If, if this guy is still out there, you not only just sped up his timeline, you put yourself in it. I love how he just said that so like, just, <laughs> you know, like it's just a regular conversation. Like, yeah, you just put yourself in this timeline. Like what the, low key? Say no damn Disney Plus show? Are you saying I'm about to die? I know that you're saying I'm about to die, but come on, bro. 
Tell me you got a way for me to beat the system. Wait a minute. Look at little Emily. Oh, that's Jessica. That's gangster. That is so gangster. She twirled around her daddy. Then this heifer got the nerve to look at the camera and go, shh. Oh, so we all saying shush? Oh boy. Like I thought. Like I thought. All of the children. This movie is the definition of them kids. So what are you gonna do now, playboy? Like, you know what the truth is. Are you gonna tell your wife? You gonna get rid of little Emily? What about Robbie? You gonna get rid of him? The drink. The drink. He got drugged. It's over. You're done. Little Emily wrote a note that says, good night, daddy. She means that literally. She got your ass. I love that you made the movies longer. They're better this way. Wow. Damn, tell me, is she about to cut his head off? Tell me she not gonna do that. I'll make you famous again. <laughs> that line was hard. She said, I'll make you famous again. Damn, that's gangsta. Little Emily. <laughs> Bruh, ain't no way, ain't no way. Ain't no way, no way, no way. Man, I wish that they would have showed it. I really, that's unfortunate. I really wish they would have showed it. That's how it ends? Tell me that's how it ends. So she about to go join the rest of the uh, little children. Wait, is somebody else watching the playback of this? It's Mr. Boogie, he's watching the playback. She killed little Robbie. She sacrificed her little brother. Wow, they're so gangster. I love it. I really do. This is good. This, this is really good. What the hell are we doing? What, what are we doing? Why is our heads turning? Oh, hell no. Okay, that was creepy. That was creepy. He picked her up and jumped into the picture like, like Steve from Blue's Clues. Bravo, bravo. He called it house painting. That's an Arthur right there. That's an Arthur. Arthur, yep. I meant to say it like that. Y'all know what I meant to say. Arthur, whatever, same thing. True Arthur right there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They tried to get us on a last little jump scare. Didn't work. They tried to though. All right, so that was Sinister. Pretty good movie actually. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm glad that the children caught, they caught a lot of bodies in this movie, like a lot. There had to have been at least 16 deaths, at least. You know, we're talking about like four to each family. And I think we've seen four families, maybe five by the end of it. So it might, it might be 24, but either way, there was a lot of deaths and all of the deaths came from the little children. And y'all know, y'all know me, I'm Mr. What about the children? What about the children? Y'all know that I am him, but for this movie, they take the cake, like, they really do. I enjoy this. Now, I don't know if there's any more Sinisters. I think I saw, like, a Sinister 2. I think, I, I, don't, I don't know if there is, but if you guys want me to continue doing the Sinister series, let me know in the comment section. If you would like to see me do any other movie that's kind of horror themed related, put it in the comment section with the hashtag Vengers. Make sure that you use that hashtag because that is key to me finding the actual movie. I use that that hashtag. That's the reason why I tell y'all hashtag B-I-N-G-E-R-S. Please use it. Do not forget to hit that thumbs up button if you did enjoy this or if you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Also, drop a comment because I need all of the algorithm love. Shout out to everybody that watches Premiere Store. If you're doing, looking, and smelling amazing, like I always say, you can be anywhere in the world, but because you're here with your boy, I appreciate you for that. Spam with the chat right now with some hearts. Before we get up out of here, I need to feel the love before we go. If you would like to become a YouTube member, whatever, Click the join button, click the link at the top of the description. I have a Twitch, twitch.tv slash Billy Binges. Make sure y'all follow me. I might be going live once this video premieres. I don't know. I really don't know. But if I do, make sure that you're following so you're aware. And I do have a Discord. Follow that in the description also. And until my next movie commentary, I shall see y'all then. Billy Binges out.